This is a joint work by uh, these researchers. I am Takuya Hayashi, a PhD student in Kyushu University. Uh, this is my first talk in uh, international conference, uh, so I'm very nervous. <laughs> okay, uh, here, uh, in this research, we solve a 676-bit disk rover program in GX326M. In this talk, we talk about uh, why and how to solve this, this problem. Uh, okay, uh, this is an outline of our talk. Um, motivation, uh, we explain our motivation and the functional field, uh, which is most important algorithm in this problem. Uh, we explain our experiment and finally we conclude our talk. And the key point in our talk is uh, these improvements, uh, namely correlation and gear action. Okay, here we talk about our motivation. And based on pairings, many novel cryptograph protocols have been constructed successfully such as ID-based encryption, or QR searchable encryption, and so on and so on. Moreover, um, pairing-based crypto system can be implemented efficiently. The ETT pairing on super single caps over GX32N is one of the most efficient pairings. Because of its application and efficiency, uh, pairing-based cryptography uh, becomes one of main topics in cryptography. Uh, beyond, along with uh, increasing computational speed, one may ask whether uh, this crypto system is still secure. Okay, uh, the security of pairing based crypto systems is based on the discrete logarithm problem in two groups. And one is an elliptic curve, and the other is a final field. In the case of the ETT pairing over GX32M, the security basis are and the discrete logarithm problem on super singular curves over GX32M on this side, and the discrete logarithm problem over final field GX32M on this side. And our target is our, our target in this research is on this side. The, the, the discrete logarithm problem over g 2 And the function field is the most efficient algorithm to solve this problem. And so we prevent this. And here we explain uh, our overview of the function field uh, The function field has four steps. A polynomial section, a correction of relations, linear algebra, and individual logarithm. In polynomial section, we select bivariate polynomial H as a um, uh, definition polynomial of the function field, of the function field, and the reducing polynomial F, uh, which is a definition polynomial of final field, and compute M and such that X, Xm is congruent to zero module F. And then choose the parameter, uh, the smoothness bound B, and compute rational factor base BR and algebraic factor base BA, where a rational factor base is a set of irreducible polynomials of degree not larger than the B, and algebraic factor base is a set of small prime divisors, as this. In correction of relation step, uh, correct my correct many relations uh, between logarithm factor base, as this. And in linear algebra step, we solve this linear equation, where M is a sparse and large matrix uh, constructed by relations, as this, and V is a vector constructed by logarithm factor base, as this. By solving this linear equation, uh, we obtain logarithm factor base. 
And finally, in individual logarithm step, we compute logarithm of target element from logarithm of factor base. Okay. And here, we explain our implementation choice. In polynomial section, uh, we chose a variant of factor field proposed by Joan Rehlsier in 2006 and implemented uh, polynomial sieve per Rancher's method a special Q descent uh, for each step. <coughs> uh, collection relations and linear algebra needs uh, many, many computations. And so to decrease uh, the number of computation, um, we deal with some improvements in correlation and gear action described later. Okay, here we experiment we explain our experiment and computational result. And these pictures are our computational environment. And twelve black mountain servers uh, each server have each server has uh Cazion and six tower servers. Each of each servers have um, their CPUs or Cazion. In total, we used 18 Xeon servers and 96 cores. Each server is connected by gigabit Ethernet. Uh, we use some OSs, FreeBSD and Fedora, and so on, and compiled by GCC with some libraries, GMP, MPI, and so on. Okay, here we talk about our computational result of solving the discrete logarithm problem over GX2, GX326 times 71, uh, which has uh, 676 bit cardinality. Uh, at first, we construct GX326 as this, and to represent an element in a polynomial ring over GX326, we define map phi as this. Ah, sorry, map, not map phi, uh, not map, uh, map say, as this, sorry. And in polynomial section, we fix a bivariate polynomial H as y to 6 plus x, and this is uh, to compute uh, efficiently in correction of relation step. And find irreducible polynomial F, and whose all coefficients are in GX3. And this restriction comes from a gear action described later. And then compute M. By an easy computation, we obtain uh, such F and M as this. And construct and then construct uh, J326 times 71 as an extension field over J326 of degree 71. Okay, we use the generator of this group, and gamma, as this, and target element, pi x, as this. We solve logarithm of pi x in basis gamma. We set the smoothness bound b equal to, uh, this is because our limitation of our uh, computational environment and our implementation. Then, the number of rational factor base and algebraic factor base are about quarter million. And so the number of recurrent relations are about uh, half a million. This is a bit too many. And to decrease this, uh, we dealt with the gear action and the relations. Okay, here <coughs> we required about half a million relations. By free relations, we obtain about 0.13 million relations, and that is one quarter ball. And so we should search about 0.4 million relations. Furthermore, by gear action, this compressed to 1 over 6, and so we should search about only 66,000 relations. Okay, here uh, we talk about 
correlation uh, and direction, uh, at first correlation. And correlation is relation obtained without some computation, such as sieving. If uh, H is factorized to daily one polynomial module P at least, and then we obtain a free relation as this. <coughs> In many cases of the function field Z, the number of free relations are the number of relations is about that of B A over D, where D is degree of H in Y. However, in very small character case, in uh, as our case, there are many, there are more correlations we can obtain. And for example, uh, in our case, we chose H as Y to 6 plus X. And then, Y to 6 plus X is factorized to uh, as least four modules for most of P. <coughs> and so, and the number of relations is about uh, that of B A over 2. And that is uh, three times more relations we can obtain. And next, uh, gear action. To use gear action, we select an irreducible polynomial F uh, whose all coefficients are in GX3 and construct uh, final field as this. And then for map phi, uh, fetch maps to 3 to n power, x is fixed module f. And so uh, an element in rational factor base uh, p, then a p prime fetch map fetch is phi of p, is also in rational factor base, but not equal to P. And therefore, logarithm P prime is uh, multiplied by 3 to n of logarithm P. And this fact enables to compress two curves, uh, namely uh, logarithm P and logarithm P prime, to one curve in matrix in linear algebra step. By applying phi uh, iteratively, six terms can be compressed to one term in the matrix uh, for most of P. Furthermore, the action can be also used for uh, algebra factor base. Therefore, the number of repair relations are reduced to 1 over 6, and computational type in linear algebra is reduced to 1 over 36 because of the uh, complexity of linear algebra step is of, of quadratic order. Okay, uh, back to experiment. We, we should obtain about 66,000 regions. Uh, that is 1 over 8 of original 1. Uh, by 18 days computation, we obtain 66,000 relations, and we have enough we have enough relation to compute linear algebra step. Okay, here we explain about uh, computation of linear algebra step. In linear algebra step, uh, we solve this linear equation by Parallel method. In in computation. Uh, we remove small prime factors from this modulus and divide it to four moduli as this. There, uh, fair, all moduli are fairly co-prime. And in parameters method, we divide the matrix by horizontal and vertical as this. And more and work for all moduli in parallel. And then we solve module N by Charlie Mellon theorem. By about 12 hours computation, 
we solve this linear equation and obtain logarithm factor base. And finally, we compute we computed logarithm of pi x in basis gamma modulo n, where n has 548 bit size. Uh, this was computed by a special queue descent. This took about 40 days. Uh, this is much longer. This is much longer than our forecast. This is because uh, the gear action and free relations cannot accelerate the individual logarithm step in general. And logarithm, logarithm modulo and small prime factors are computed by uh, Poirot's law method. And finally, we obtain logarithm of pi x in basis gamma, as this. And completely solve uh, logarithm, uh, discrete logarithm problem over JX326 times 71. OK, this, this table shows the current record for solving the discrete logarithm problem over various finite fields. And this is our work. <coughs> our work is the largest bit size, even though uh, each experiment uses different algorithms uh, number fields, number fields deep, and function fields deep. And there are many, uh, there are many kind of uh, final fields such as uh, prime fields, binary fields, and so on. However, there are no specialized experiments uh, over field related to the security of uh, pairing based crypto systems such as uh, JF224N, JFP210, and JFP212. And so, we should experiment and evaluate the difficulty of this logarithm problem over such fields. Okay, conclusion. Uh, in this research, we succeeded in solving the discrete logarithm problem over JX326 times 71, which has 676 bit cardinality, uh, using some improvements, uh, full relation and gear action. But, however, uh, to avoid the difficulty of this problem, we, we should experience more and more with uh, some improvements uh, which we have, we have not implemented yet, such as uh, Granger smoothness bar, and large prime variation, and, and so on. Okay, thank you for listening.